Florida, Florida, California. Liners spread out all over America. <laughs> hey, exes, we all have them, but most of them we let go, but some we tend to keep around. Go and look at me. Go and look at me. <laughs> yeah, look at you is right. In this week's edition of Relationship 101, we wonder, is it ever wise to keep an ex in the picture? Oh, here with uh, guidelines to deal with the ex Ooh. factor is the author of Sex Detox, Ian Kerner. And chief executive girlfriend and founder of FirstWivesWorld.com, Debbie Nigro. We love Debbie. So all of a sudden, I heard a lot of snickering Ooh, when you bring up the exes. The exes. Yeah, not a big yeah. fan of keeping the ex in the picture. Uh, you know? I, I am not. I think your ex is past history, and I think your life is current events, and I think you need to respect the present, really let go of the past. And I think, at best, an ex should be a casual acquaintance, but I think if your ex is really in your life, it can be trouble. Hold on, Debbie. Do you, I think you can be a friend with an ex. Should we have <laughs> exes as friends? Is it possible? Um, yes. Um, I think all exes go to spouse purgatory. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Which means what? It means it's a new <laughs> land where there's new rules. And depending on whether you left it with friendly fire or hellfire, <laughs> or whether or not you still have a little tug on your heartstrings... See, or, that's what it comes down to, Or your down, libido... Debbie. That's what oh. it comes down to. It comes tug, down to yeah. the level. I think the way you broke up, the level of love. Does one person still hold a torch for the other, Ian? Yeah, and you know, you may know your own feelings. You may know how you feel, but you can't really ever know exactly how an ex feels. We were just talking about this. <laughs> you don't know what that guy in a mountain calling you, you know, in his last five Shut minutes. Shut up, Ian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. no, right. But should, how close, if, let's say you decide to do it. Yeah. How close a friend should you be? Should you have your ex as a confidant? No, I don't think. I think no. you should have your current partner as a confidant. And I think if you are trying... Yeah, you know? Look, being, being in a relationship... Being in a relationship is hard work, and an ex will t distract you and take you back into the past. So I guess sex with your ex is out of the question. What? Uh, <laughs> what? I'm not asking. We're jumping topics here. I think an ex can be an asset, not necessarily for sex. I think sex with your ex is probably the worst idea you'll have once you've done it and realize you shouldn't have. But um, <laughs> I think there are so many things that your ex did that were really valuable to your life, and especially as a woman, that enhanced your life, made it simpler. The sex. It, it, that oh, too. sorry. <laughs> Not necessarily simpler. Um, but that, you know, like that, it is. there were great uh, yeah. emergencies. How do you know? um, a perfect example I had an ex who, you know, who I didn't have too great a uh, interaction with, but my, he was love my daughter, and she got stuck on a highway one night, and I immediately called him. I knew he'd be there in two seconds, sure. and he was. But you understand so, that. That makes sense, yeah, right? That makes total sense because there's a kid involved, and when there's a kid involved, you should be friendly with your ex, and you should be able to call your ex and say, hey, something's happening with, it, happening with our daughter on the road. Just but, an acquaintance, though? You can't go further than that? You're talking about the sex again. No, right? no. You're implying the no. sex <laughs> My ex is one of my best friends. You know why? Because yeah. you're not and, sexually but, attracted anymore. But let me ask you, how much time has passed as well in the, well, in well, the relationship. A lot, a lot right? A so lot it kind of, of feels like a separate life. It feels like a past True. life. You know, and I think it takes a lot of time to get to the point where you can even have a casual friendship with an ex. All right. Well, do the rules for your ex change when you're in a new relationship? We have definitely been dealing with that one. The answer when we return. Still ahead. Will the fish pedicure work? Right here on our set, get ready as one brave audience member dips her toes in the tank. I'm a crazy ex-girlfriend. Hey, uh, we're back talking with psychologist Ian Turner uh, and founder of First Wives world.com Debbie Nigro. That's a great uh, uh, website, by the way. Thank you. Talking about rules, proud. rules for your when your ex stays in the picture, or should they stay in the picture? Now, this is what happens. What happens when you get into a relationship with somebody new? I mean, yep. we were talking about. I've always been very honest with myself. I had a serious boyfriend. Yep. I we broke up, started dating somebody else. I'm now engaged. Yep. You know, should the ex still be a friend of mine? Well, you know what? I think your new relationship is a twosome, not a threesome. Okay, so I don't mean that. I don't mean that in the sexual way. I mean, <laughs> keep that ex. I think. Look, you know, I can't tell you how often I hear, you know, uh, the ex is still calling on the cell phone. The ex still texts. The ex is part of a Facebook network. You know, the ex they're they're emailing. I think that this is all dangerous. I think it all really distracts from the current relationship. Oh, everybody can relate to this. You have children with somebody. 
You once loved someone. You never get in the way of a children's relationship with the person that you're no longer in love with because they love each other. You have to, children are a very different dynamic with exes. You have to manage this in a very yeah. healthy way. But if you don't kids. have children. I don't remember. Don't have children. Yeah. I remember I was dating this woman, and I had an event down in D.C. Went down to D.C., and I said, what are you doing out there in New York? Oh, well, I'm out with <laughs> this guy. Her yeah. ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, you decided to do it when I'm out of town? Exactly. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 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 I remember, I remember that. that. <laughs> she that was bothered me. Yeah, but you be, I hated her. That's right. And that's why if you're in a relationship, respect the present. Respect that relationship. But, so, however, everybody lies, okay? I'm going to tell you. Everybody, <laughs> everybody lies. No, everybody has old... How do you have love somebody one day and never ever think about them the rest of your life? There's so many re relationships, and people will want to keep those at least if they love somebody. They may not be right for their life right now, but still have a friendship. As long as the current partner accepts that, it's not. I think it's a it's part of I the also think natural course how, of life. If it's, it's how like with, currently with my with my now fiance, yeah. if he stayed in touch with an ex of his and I, I had started dating him, he was friends with her. As long as she was nice and friendly and respectful right. of me, I'd be a lot better with that. that. Yeah. I would it's put so yourself true. in the other person's shoes. <laughs> it's yeah. so true. Shut up. It's totally true. Yeah. Woo! Woo! You should be able to go. You know, if you want to do this, you should be able to go on a double date with your ex, with your fiance, you know, his girlfriend. What about this, Juliet? Feel completely great Let's about. say uh, your boyfriend gets a text that says, "Hey, fiance. sexy, how are you?" My, oh, well, that that annoyed me. I was not happy. That happened, but, and you but, were. But, you but were hey, sexy. Room. That's a little bit different than hey, bud. Yeah. That's totally different. Yeah, I think right? all of the little. I think that. all of the little flirty <laughs> emails and texts have to go to the. They website. do have to go. Yeah, they have to go. What about this? Put yourself in the other person's shoes. Oh, yeah. Out of respect. There's this new show on yeah. Bravo yeah. where it, the, the premise is that they're exes, but one ex is trying to set up his former partner with a new boyfriend, girlfriend, etc. Why that do you ever need work? this job? Why would somebody need that? Don't you have enough in your life without trying to set up your ex with, with somebody else? Look, if it happens naturally, if your ex is really part of your past and you're part of a social network and all of a sudden you feel like, hey, this is great, you know, then maybe, but to actually go out of your way to try and set your ex up with somebody, I think it could just trigger a lot of things and emotions that, you know, you just don't want to deal with. Well, first of all, you have to be comfortable with a best friend sleeping with your ex. Think about that dynamic. Please. It's worked, however, in many incidences where people are very happy. And I know couples who have been introduced by their exes and are living happily ever after. Men, as a different dynamic, men will be like, take my ex-wife, please, because they have to stop playing <laughs> child support. And will be, you know, and she comes with a toaster. You know, um, I mean, there's a whole different dynamic. But it has worked if you, again, it's about how your heart feels. If yeah. you are still attracted to the other person, Debbie, thank that is you. a very different dynamic. Ian, thank we'll talk you. about this a little bit more on our okay. website, MJ. There's too much to talk about with this. MJShow.com. Up next, we put the fish pedicure to the test. We gotta find out if our audience is oh. feeding the water with the fish. Ew.